I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something. Ah, Mimia, smartest man alive. I know many things. Head. Ah, uh, Sigrun, the queen of the... Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had history, I guess you could say. Like, romantic history? Ah, oh, lad. You're making me blush, I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind that distraction. You must stay on the path, I promise you. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Sure, it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Oh, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself.
favor? Ah, Alpine. I missed its gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves... ...are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here in Alfheim a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavalir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just Elves of another... ...color. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That... is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well... that's sad.
another Valkyrie. Are we doing this? On my action. Looks like we're doing this. Prepare oh! oh! Sounds like your queen is responsible, Head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was different. Changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but... She had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, Mungir. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. If she is responsible, then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's gonna watch your back? <laughs> <laughs> 